A bill to prevent Nigeria-trained medical or dental practitioners from being granted full licenses until they have worked for a minimum of five years in the country has passed second reading in the House of Representatives. While leading the debate on the general principle of the bill, the sponsor, Honorable Ganyu Johnson, says the bill seeks to address the high numbers of cases of Nigerian-trained medical doctors leaving the country for greener pastures and its implications on the quality of health services in the country. Plus TV Manuel Ehejine completes the report. With Nigeria's healthcare system plagued by a massive brain drain with the mass exodus of medical doctors and other skilled workers, the House of Representatives passed for second reading a bill to stem the worrisome tide. Honorable Ganyu Johnson, who raised the motion, expressed concern that it is only fair for medical practitioners who enjoyed taxpayers' subsidies on the training loca locally to give back to society by working for a minimum of five years in the country before exporting their skills abroad. Yes, we are not saying you cannot go abroad to make your money, but if, we've, if government has subsidized your tuition, okay, I mean, to, to the tune of uh, 40 to uh, 150,000. The least we can get from you is that after your husbandship, before you are given full license, before you are given full license, it's uh, f yes, before you are given full license, at least you can give back to the society within a period of five years. Members, while acknowledging the negative effects medical brain drain is having on the healthcare sector, also raised some concerns as imposing such restrictions on the doctors will amount to interfering with the free will of intended medical practitioners to choose where to practice. Abroad is very expensive, but here in Nigeria, the government is investing so much money and at a subsidized rate. So this bill is timely. I urge my colleagues to support this bill. In fact, at the, at the public hearing level, I will make an input personally. The issue we're trying to cure is the brain drain. And that in itself, in my own opinion, Mr. Speaker, I think we're trying to, is a catch-22 situation that we're in now as a country. Do we try to restrict these people and impinge on their own fundamental human rights? Or do we start to provide for the resources that we need to apportion more resources to the medical profession. Before calling for a voice and vote on the proposed bill, the Speaker, Femi Bajabiamila, informed lawmakers on Section 45, Subsection 1 of the Constitution, which has a provision for setting aside the fundamental right of any individual for the sake of the greater good. To deviate from, your, from fundamental human rights under certain conditions. If you have your constitution, go to 45.1. And one of those conditions is where it concerns public health. It's specifically written there, public health, 45-1. So if the government, or oh, we feel that uh, to safeguard public health, this restriction should be put, um, then we have not, um, we have not um, violated anybody's fundamental human rights. The bill was passed and read the second time before it was referred to the House Committee on Healthcare Services for further legislative action. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.